Hello again, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and I'm going to show you how you can find the median, among other things, on the graphing calculator. Now I'm assuming you have a list of data, uh, so in other words, you have several numbers, some kind of data set that you want to find the median for. Um, one way, uh, which I wrote about in a blog post that I'll link here, is to find it by hand, but as data sets get larger, that gets kind of silly. So let's say I had a data set. Um, the first thing I'm going to do after I turn on the calculator is I'm going to press this button stat right here in the middle. Using this button, you can actually type in the data. So I'm going under the edit menu. So I want to click either number one or just press enter since I highlighted one. And this is basically a spreadsheet where you can enter data. So let's say I want to find the median of a very small data set. I'm just going to make up some numbers. Be one. Notice I type the number, press enter, 2 enter, 6 enter, 19 enter, 7 enter, and 5 enter. That's my data set, suppose. However many numbers you have, you just keep typing them that way. Ideally, you put this in L1, because then you don't have to mess with any other settings, which I'll show you in a second. Once you have these typed in, you click Stat. You go over to the Calculate menu, and you want number one, one variable stats. So I'm going to click 1 or press enter to get to that. Now it's going to sit here flashing for a second. If you typed it in a different list than L1, what you have to do is you have to click second and pick the list over here. But if you type it in L1, then all you have to do is press enter, which is what makes things really nice. Now notice you get a huge output here. This first thing is the sample mean. This is the sum of all the numbers you typed in. This is the sum of the squared numbers you typed in. These are both standard deviation. One is sample, one is population. N is how many points you had. Notice the little arrow here. I can scroll down. Okay, we got our minimum value, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum value. In this case, what I'm interested in the median is the median right here, 5.5. So I know my median now, it's 5.5. Okay, so that's how you do it, that's it. Now I wanted to show you just one little thing, one little trick with these lists that happens sometimes, or one little thing, trick you can use to fix what happens with these lists sometimes. If I go back to stat and edit, and let's say I wanted to use a different set of numbers. The way I get rid of these numbers is I press up and I highlight L1 and I press clear and then enter. If you press delete, the entire list goes away. So if you highlight L1, press delete, now I don't have an L1 anymore. And this is when people freak out, but it's really easy to take care of. If you go to stat and set up editor number five, press enter and done, now your list is fixed. So that's just a little trick that might help you if you're doing stuff like finding the median or the mean or any of these other values that came out um, in the calculator.